house. Closer look. Plants on your plate. Hmm, spinach. Hmm, spinach looks like leaves. Let's take a closer look. They are leaves from a plant. Hmm, if we eat other parts of the plant, do we eat? Inspector Willow is on the case. must be carrots. I can see them growing underground. Can you? Ha! Huh. So carrots are roots. My favorite root to root for. <laughs> what part of the plant do you think asparagus is? They're growing out of the ground. Hmm. They're stems. Do we ever eat flowers? Yep, some teas are made from flowers, like chamomile. Wow, so we eat lots of different parts of plants. Like roots, stems, the leaves, and flowers. Woohoo! Let's put lots of pieces of plants on our plates. <laughs> Now, let's test your memory. Find the items that begin with... Gorby's Sights and Sounds. Kimchi. Winter in North and South Korea is very cold. Most plants can't be grown by farmers in the winter. So vegetables to eat all year. Kimchi was invented. Vegetables grow when it is warm and light, and they could be made into kimchi. It's kept for months and can be eaten in the cold winter. Yum! Let's see how it's made. The main ingredient of kimchi is usually cabbage. Ingredients like sugar, ginger, and pepper are added. Then, it's all left in a salty liquid. This gives it flavor and makes it last longer. Kimchi can stay in a jar for months or even years and would still be good to eat. I'm not sure it can wait that long. It's so popular that when people have their pictures taken in Korea, they say, kimchi instead of cheese. Kimchi! <laughs> now, let's test your memory. around the world. People make and eat bread all over the world. Although it's made from the same main ingredients, flour and water, different cultures make really different bread. Let's take a look. First up, India, to find some naan bread. These are knots. They're a type of flatbread from India that are cooked in a round oven called a tandoor. Wow! They're going bubbly! Hmm, where next? Aha! Germany! Let's go see what they have. Pretzels. These are bread, too? They look so different. Oh, look! That's because they're rolled out and twisted into knots before baking. They're a tasty, traditional snack in Germany and a symbol of luck. Now, 
Let's see what bread looks like in China. Oh, look! These are mantou. They're Chinese steamed bread buns made with wheat flour. Yum! Wow, what a world tour of bread! Now I'm hungry. But there's so many types of bread to choose from. Hmm. Which one would you pick? Feeding time! Clever and curious with... Nash! Popsicle! Popsicle! Yum! Yeah! They're so cold and tasty. Popsicle gone! Make more? Great idea, Nash! Let's find out how. Right! First, we start with juice, or a sweet drink. Look! That's how we can give the popsicle its shape. We pour the drink into a mold. Oh! Next, how do popsicles feel, Nash? Uh, cold. Exactly. We need to make the drink so cold, ice, it freezes. Freeze? Freezing is when a liquid loses a lot of heat and turns into a solid, like when water turns to ice. Nice ice. Popsicle, great idea. It is a great idea. And do you know who thought of it? An 11-year-old child named Frank Epperson put a stick in a drink and left it outside in the cold. The drink froze and turned into ice overnight and became the world's first popsicle. Although at first, he called it an epsicle. Oh! Nash invent. Freeze yogurt. Huh. Now that might just be worth a try. What frozen treat could you invent? <laughs> 